Welcome back everyone. We're going to be doing a final, I don't want to say this is final, but probably the last comparison I'm going to do for the iPhone S8 in a while. The OnePlus, I'm supposed to be getting the OnePlus 8s very soon, so I'm going to start doing the comparisons on those. But this is going to be a speed comparison between the SE 2020 and the S10e. Now I've done a full comparison between these and I've done a camera comparison between these. So this is kind of like that last trilogy, I would say, you know, that's three reviews, full camera and then speed. So this will probably end it for these two phones. Now the S10e came out last year and you know I said you know in a lot of ways the S10e is probably the better phone in a lot of ways but the SE2 has a lot going for it as well. Now when it comes down to the speed you have a little bit of differences between them both. The SE2 obviously has that A13 chip with 3 gigs of RAM which is good enough for you know me I think you know when I've been testing it it really hasn't been too good in that RAM management portion of the test which I will test in this video. But the S10e has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset octa-core CPU with 6 gigs of RAM on the base model and 8 gigs of RAM on the top tier model. In this example, I have 6 gigs of RAM on this model. So let's go and start loading these apps up. We can start going through some of the system apps. We can load up the Play Store, their app stores, 3, 2, 1. And that one was kind of tough because they loaded like separate things per thing, so it was really hard. But you can tell from even just me scrolling through, look how much smoother it is on the SE2 when I'm scrolling up. They look kind of the same when I'm scrolling up, but definitely when I was scrolling down and loading all these little images and everything, it looked so much smoother on the SE2. So that one was a pretty big one right there. We can do the camera, 3, 2, 1. I think the SE2 was faster. The S10E took a minute for sure there. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same there. Messages, 3, 2, 1. About the same there too. Not too big of a difference. Gallery or photos, 3, 2, 1. Oh, about the same there too. There wasn't really too big of a difference between those ones. We can do like the calendar. Three, two, one. About the same there too. Clock. Three, two, one. About the same there too. We can go and load up some website on the internet browser. So we can just go to like whatever pre-installed one they have. So we can just go to Google. Three, two, one. And they were about the same there too. There wasn't really that big of a difference in terms of zooming in and everything. They look about the same there too. So I, I think that's a catchphrase there, about the same there too. They look almost the same exact one. So that kind of covers it up for basically the same apps that I wanted to test. So those are like the system apps that are built in. And the reason I test those is because I want to be able to go and load those up in the background at the end once I do the RAM management portion of the test. So let's go and start loading up these third-party apps that I downloaded before. So let's do Twitter. Three, two, one. And I think actually the S10e was a little bit faster there. That was kind of surprising. Facebook, three, two, one. I think the SE2 there is way faster. The S10e eventually gets into it. And I didn't know they had dark mode on Facebook, but I guess they brought it in now or something. Doodle jump, three, two, one. And another thing to mention with the S10e, you notice how there was a little bit of a glitch like as soon as I tapped it. That's a common problem that I see and it's not really like that crazy of a deal, but it is kind of annoying a little bit. So not like a deal breaker, but something to consider. Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And another thing, as you guys saw with the S10e, it glitches up like that when you click on it. Whereas on the SE2, it just kind of, you know, comes onto the screen super smoothly. And then eventually we get into it on the S10e. But definitely between both, the SE2 was far faster and just smoother to get into it. Now let's get into some gameplay, see what the differences are, if any. And I really don't think we're going to get into any differences for in any matter of the word. <laughs> and it's a basic game, so that pretty much covers up that one. Stack, 3, 2, 1. And SE2 is faster yet again. Let's get into the game itself. And I think it's going to be pretty smooth on both. Okay, that pretty much covers up that one. Paper IO1, 3, 2, don't even have it. Snake versus Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And they were almost exactly the same when I clicked on them. So it looked like the SE2 was going to go faster. But ultimately that was not the case. Getting into some gameplay, yet again they look pretty much the same, not too many differences between both of them, so thank you, 3, 2, 1. And again, SE2 is faster, followed by the S10e shortly after. Getting to some gameplay again, you can see that, you know, they're pretty much going to be the same thing, it's not that big of a deal between these two. Netflix, 3, 2, 1. 
and actually the S10e, and for some reason the Android version of Netflix always looks so faster than the iOS version, which I always find weird because usually it, manufacturers make it the opposite, but I think, you know, it's cool, I like that a lot. Quizlet, 3, 2, 1. S10 e much faster, not even much faster, but definitely faster than the SE2 for sure on that one. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And it's looking like maybe the SC2 will be faster. This one's pretty close on both. Yeah, the SC2 was just slightly faster, but it wasn't like a crazy amount. You know, they were both were pretty close at the end of the day. I'm getting into some actual gameplay, and you guys will see that they'll probably be more or less the same, to be honest. You know, this isn't like a graphically intensive game anyway. Let's go into SoundCloud. I don't even think I have it on here. Instagram, 3, 2, 1. I might be loaded into account. Nope. But even then, the... S10 he was actually able to load that one up faster, super surprising. Let's go and load up Asphalt 9, 3, 2, 1. And again, as soon as I clicked on it, it seemed to let, it just glitched up for some reason. And I don't know why this happens every single time. So already at this little thing where I have to go update the app. Now I wonder if I have to update the app here, and I guess we'll just see what happens. But even to get into this specific panel, you know, it was faster on the SC2 by a substantial amount. And we are at this point, so... I don't know what to make of it, maybe the SE2 was a little bit faster, but they both were on kind of different panels. Paper IO2, 3, 2, 1. Now this is a pretty interesting game because it doesn't look graphically intensive, but sometimes you can tell a lot from them. So as you can see, the S10 was actually able to look that one up faster. Now getting into the actual gameplay, and you might be able to see that one might be smoother than the other one, but they look almost the same when it comes down to it for sure. Um, yeah, I don't really notice too many differences, but what I can tell you is, is that for some reason this is like a graphically intensive game and it glitches up on a lot of my older phones, but these ones look almost the same. If anything, I think the S10e actually looks a little bit smoother, which is super impressive. So for that one, I don't really know, but the S10e was faster to load into it. Let's do Snapchat. 3, 2, 1. Okay, they both were, this one was logged in, so kind of tough right there. Well, then it logged out. Let's do Temple Run, the original one. 3, 2, 1. And we were in the game on the S10e, so I'll go ahead and restart both of them. Let's do it again. Temple Run, 3, 2, 1. And they both are almost like neck and neck, to be honest. I think the SE2 was slightly faster by a little bit, but between both, they both were like almost exactly the same, which was super, super impressive. So let's go ahead and end it off with Real Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. And yet again, the S10e glitches up for some reason, but it's totally okay. And for some reason, we had to download again on the S10e, which makes no sense at all. I don't know why this happens every single time, but between both, maybe, you know, the SC2 might have been a lot, little bit faster, but there wasn't really that big of a difference. But that kind of covers up the speed performance aspect of both of these games and tests. I really want to get into the RAM portion of the test, so I'm going to hop out and let's start loading some of these apps up. So let's go back to the beginning, if we can go like back to the Play Stores, 3, 2, 1. So that was very, very important. You see how on the iOS device, the iPhone SE 2, this one restarted where this one was able to keep it open. That's kind of an annoying thing to be honest and that's my biggest gripe if you watched yesterday's video of the SE2. You know like that's my biggest gripe with the SE2 is the RAM management. It should not be like that. Now if we get into the photos, 3, 2, 1, they both restarted. Okay that's a little bit more understandable I guess. If they both restart then that's good but if the SE2 restarts and the S10e doesn't, I mean that's kind of a big deal in my opinion. I can do the, do the calendar, 3, 2, 1. Okay, they both restarted there. I don't know why it restarted on the first one, but then it didn't restart on the, but it then did restart on the next ones. We can do the Chrome or Safari browser, whatever the other internet browser. Three, two, one. Both of them restarted there. I will say though, on the SE2's defense, when you click on it, it does restart faster on the SE2, and it takes a little bit longer on the S10. You know, not a, like a groundbreaking thing, but definitely something that's noticeable. We can do Facebook. Three, two, one. And another one, S10e was able to keep it up. SE2 did restart it. Not again, not a, like a crazy deal, but we're kind of seeing a trend here. Let's go back to something like, you know, like Doodle Jump, for example. <laughs> 3, 2, 1. Both of them restarted. Maybe the SE2 took a little bit longer to restart, but they both were pretty close at the end of the day. Let's go do another one. We can do something like Twitter. That seems to be a pretty decent one. 3, 2, 1. Uh, another case, you know, S10e was able to, you know, keep it up in the background. SE2 did restart. 
Let's go and do another one, and we'll end it off with the last one. We can do something. What's the first one we did? We can do Snake versus Blocks. That's a decent one. We can actually do Fruit Ninja. They'll probably both restart. Three, two, one. And yeah, they both restarted. And another case, an example where I said the SE2, even when it does restart though, it is able to load it up faster. So what I can tell you between both, I mean, I think both are good performing phones still. I think these are obviously the S10e is the older one. I think this is great. This one is very, very good. I think more times than not, the SE2 was faster than the S10e, but there were also many cases where the S10e was super fast too. So I don't think one is like crazy faster every single time, but I think more times than not, the SE2 is probably the faster one. But to add to that, the S10e did a better job of RAM management, even though it only kept like two or three apps more open in the background over the SE2, it's still two or three more apps. Every time the S10e restarted, the SE2 restarted, but not vice versa. There were times the S10e was able to keep those apps in the background, so I think ultimately the S10e might be the overall better performing device, but it's still pretty close, you know what I mean? So that pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.